From battling disgust to Warren's a co-star. <laughs> Might be the reaction. To laughing off embarrassing body sounds. You know, it was, it was, it was me. <laughs> Prepare to be as uncomfortable as the actors who film the scenes. Now, you may wonder, how do people even consent to be in adult scenes? And I was like, it's fine, it's fine. Even professionals go through some mental prep talk before filming, like Keanu Reeves did for the movie Knock Knock. The actor had the tough task of shooting a very passionate wild scene with the director's wife, who played a lead alongside Reeves, right in front of the director himself. The truth is, these adult scenes are probably the most technical and choreographed parts of the show. Not only is the nudity clearly outlined in the agreement way before the production begins, but the actors also reserve the right to change their mind before the shoot. Nudity is defined in strict detail. Natural? Um, try tense. The flawless, erotic, and seemingly effortless scene is actually scripted down to the second. It is not unusual for the actor to get a minute-by-minute -minute breakdown of his or her passion. Yes, you heard that right. Ironically, even with simulated sex, practice makes perfect. Nobody said it would be easy, though. As it happened with the Gone Girl stars Rosamund Pike and Neil Patrick Harris, the two committed to their roles way more than we could imagine. Fight Club director David Fincher wanted the scene to be almost robotic, with every single move predicted in the script. So, Pike and Harris were left with an odd task, to rehearse the scene for two hours straight, all alone. You are alone with a man who's not your husband, who, who also has a husband. Needless to say, that experience has been imprinted in their memory. The best part is that the stars felt compelled to record the whole scene on a phone and show it to Fincher for a detailed review. Rosamund confessed that having people around is actually, against all odds, helpful. When you're actually shooting it and you've got a whole crew around you, it's, it's remarkably normal. Wow, the world of cinema is truly a different type of job. To make things easier for all parties involved, productions began hiring intimacy coordinators on set. It's a tricky art to make lovemaking with a stranger believable. And I was like, you can't do this to me. Now, to solve that issue, ethical concerns and self-directing, an expert is brought in to help navigate the feelings and moves for the actors. It may come off as a game of pure simulation, but nothing makes the actors feel more relaxed and safe than the predictability of it all. Still can't get over the memories of the Bridgerton lovemaking that caused a furor from the international fanbase? Here is how they managed to deceive you so masterfully. Every single hand motion, breath, and even facial expression was all figured out and blocked, aka rehearsed, multiple times in advance of the scene, leaving nothing intimate between Reggae Jean Page and Phoebe Diniver. Um, so we knew exactly what we were doing going into every, to shooting every scene. You may have rooted for this union to be realized IRL, but their on-screen affection is nothing more than a rehearsed stunt. What no coordinator can safeguard actors from, however, are wardrobe malfunctions. If you think clothes and intimate scenes don't add up, you are right. Instead of layers of fabric, you get a couple of sticker patches for ultimate comfort. If you want to know specifically where it goes, I think you can use your imagination yes. with that. The truth is, when a body part is out of the frame or not visible due to how the bodies are positioned, the actors are most likely wearing a modesty patch. It's like a big band-aid that goes from the front, covering the crotch, and then tucks in the back, which looks a bit uncomfortable. Half a bra for the sex segment and some, and some wig tape, which took me about 35 minutes to actually figure out how you stick it on, and then it just fell off immediately as soon as we started doing it. Meanwhile, to cover breasts, the actors have to stick to patches. Nude-colored underwear, full-body makeup, and other coverings are also used to shield any necessary body parts. What a cumbersome set of strategies to achieve a not-nude, nude look. Anne Hathaway herself struggled a lot with all the layers of preparation for the scene in Love and Other Drugs. The actress had her body makeup touched up mid-scene while filming, which took ages. I found that every time I put my robe back on, it rubbed all the body makeup off, and that added 20 minutes to filming, the actress shared. Not forgetting about the guys, they have their own set of props and a tube sock for the passionate nude scenes. Even the sweat on the actors' bodies is really just coconut oil smeared across them. Ever felt so deceived before? Prepare for a jaw-dropping truth. The Fifty Shades of Grey cinematographer McGarvey revealed that working on the intimate scenes for the franchise was not a highlight of his career. The lead actress Dakota Johnson was wearing a patch over her pubic area, which put the post-production team in a very tricky situation. Can you believe that McGarvey himself had the honor of staying up to add pubic hair on Dakota's body in the final cut of the movie? Yikes! 
Thankfully, the crew had a butt double for the star, and no editing was necessary from any other angles. What an interesting casting process the directors must have gone through. In those scenarios when nudity is a no-go for the actor, stunt doubles are the saviors of the day. How convenient is that? Isla Fisher told Entertainment Weekly that she had multiple doubles for her character's nude scenes in the Wedding Crashers film, another for breast shots for the boob of the face scene, and one more as a butt double. Imagine how many Fisher copies were on set! And let's not forget the legends of epic spectacles, the Game of Thrones actors. The graphic and explicit scenes were a lot to handle, even for the cast of the show. Lena Headey, or who we all remember as Cersei, used a body double on season 5 of the HBO series. Remember the heartbreaking nude walk of atonement she took? Well, kudos to her stand-in, Rebecca Van Cleave, who made that scene happen. Now, who really gets just as involved in the intimate shots as the actors are cinematographers. Never underestimate the guys who take the most uncomfortable positions to capture the most eye-pleasing shots. The same McGarvey, who has also worked on the not less impressive movie We Need to Talk About Kevin, proved once again what a gem of a professional he is. The cinematographer shot the intimate scene between Tilda Swinton and John C. Riley with two cameras, so they wouldn't have to do numerous takes. What was sacrificed, though, was his working conditions. McGarvey was literally under the covers with the two and his 5D camera. What a wild ride! But none of those tricks would ever work if the cast members are not vibing in the moment. Chemistry makes a world of difference. And how do you even do that with big cameras pointing at you? And, of course, let's not forget a bunch of crew members all around you? It is not unusual to have an explicit scene in your first day on set, so making the passion happen with a stranger mostly comes down to actors helping each other out with humor and laughing their embarrassment off. Closed sets are in place specifically for intimate scenes to provide some sense of privacy for the actors. Having only an essential skeleton crew helps the actors feel more comfortable flashing their bodies while smooching around less people. And a mix of all that is exactly how Fifty Shades came about. Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan were given around 10 weeks for a single movie with the Red Room scenes postponed for the final days. The two took their roles very seriously, unlike the nudity scenes. There's a moment where I'm meant to, you know, orgasm. I'll be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> For Johnson, building that level of affectionate expression was more of a technical task than an intimate one. In fact, the actress is the one who was giving her co-star directions on how to take her underwear off in a more sensual, delicate way. You know, that isn't just like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who would have thought the movie could have looked so different? And that's what happens when the actors cannot agree on what is going on in the scene. No matter what bestie vibes the on-screen couple share, some storylines are too hard to execute. And nobody dreaded shooting their parts as much as Kit Harington and Amelia Clark did. The fanbase has never felt so torn apart about the shipped union, but here we are! Naturally, the reactions have been reciprocated by the stars as well, and they had to take multiple breaks to get through a minute take. I like looking at it and going, oh god, I'm sorry. Sometimes, no matter how hard the cast is trying to do their best, shit happens. The intimate scene would be real and authentic without something not going as planned. At least this was the experience of the normal people cast, who deliver the most sensual and moving performance of the last year. While the behind-the-scenes experience for Paul Meskel and Daisy Edgar Jones was so far from it. Having fake sweat applied on you and then going ahead and basically rubbing against each other caused a wave of giggles between the two. Especially when, in another of those scenes, the two moved in unison and an accidental fart sound came out. Categorically unsexy. <laughs> Speaking of complicated filming, the Bridgerton production beats all the records. The production did magic selecting a mesmerizing location in the real English country. However, one thing they overlooked was the crew placement during the takes. It may come as a surprise, but filming an intimate scene can require a lot of space to accommodate all the props and people. The director, Julianne Robinson, had to watch out for all the property in the scene to make sure nothing got damaged. There was no flexibility in movement, as you can imagine. You can't move the bed, any paintings, or even lean against the wardrobe wardrobe, or mess with the delicate furniture. So, there was a lot of monitoring going on when Reggae and Phoebe were filming their scenes. There's a bodyguard for the room, and then there's also just like Fran in the corner, who's just standing there just kind of deciding whether or not to look. She's like, I have to look. Could you please go easy on the bed? It's very, very old. <laughs> it is truly remarkable how effortless it came out in the end, which only proves one point. How ridiculously unreal and different the behind-the-scenes world of cinema is. Now, if you are curious about the off-screen reality of movie making, make sure to check out our channel for more videos on the topic. As always, thanks for watching!